Hi, I'm Ariel and I'm from California. And hi, I'm Rebecca, I'm from Miami. Uh, this is your second time? This is my fourth time oh, in Tokyo. Fourth time in Tokyo. So I've been wow. in Tokyo four times, but I've been in Kyoto, Osaka, Okinawa, and Hakone. I've traveled around a little bit. And wow. this is my first time in Japan. <laughs> Do you like tuna? Yes, tuna mm -hmm. is my favorite. Right. Okay, I will choose this. Uh, you can choose um, what you want to eat. Salmon? Oh, <laughs> so you went somewhere else, like other than Tokyo? You went to uh, Osaka uh, or? Not this time. Yeah, this time we were just in Tokyo. We came over because we had a few days vacation. So uh -huh. hopefully we'll be going to Osaka soon. Yeah. What did you do in Tokyo? I am. Um, we went to the cat shrine. We went to the cat shrine. The, the, the uh, cat shrine. Cat shrine. Oh, I didn't know that. It's so like a cat shrine. Cat shrine. Uh huh. Um, Yakitori Alley, the memory oh, lane, uh, and then, yeah, yeah, and then okay. we went to Golden Guy afterwards. <laughs> and then we <laughs> nice were so That was right. And then Saturday. Busy day. Yeah, busy, busy, day. busy, busy. busy. Then we went to Harajuku. Oh, that's right. We were in Harajuku all day. Harajuku and Omete Sando all day on the side. Oh. To the Sailor Moon Cafe. It was very oh, really? nice. <laughs> and then yesterday we went to Akihabara, Asakusa, Asa 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 uh, Ginza. Oh, Ginza. And then we came back to Shinjuku. Yakiniku? Mm. Yakiniku, yeah, for dinner. Mm. Oh, great. Mostly you've been filling our days with food. Yeah. <laughs> where do we go to get more food? Uh, I see. <laughs> and yeah. then where can we go to drink and have happy hour before we decide what we're going to eat later? <laughs> All tuna, mm -hmm. but different parts. This is like a akami, mm -hmm. which is basically no fat. Okay. And medium fatty tuna mm -hmm. and fatty tuna. Grilled. Boiled, yeah. Grilled, yeah. So you can try and see what is the difference between the parts of the. Mm -hmm. I think the texture is very soft. It's very easy to bite through. It's a very clean taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I could eat so many of those, just like it's so easy to go. It down. tastes really fresh. Yeah, really nice. I'm actually super excited because we, to be able to like taste the difference. It's so nice. Yeah, so try. Go for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can taste like from the part because like it was like I think part of it was more fatty, it was like mm -hmm. one section and the other part was like fatty because kind of taste the, like the texture change. Yeah. But I think the, fl the flavor was just, like a little bit more well, slightly fattier and oilier than but it was still very good. Like more rich. Yes. Like this one. Grilled. Oh the girl one? Yeah. Ooh, a palate cleanser. Yeah. It's pretty different from like okay. those two. Mm. I really like that one. Yeah. But I think it's also because like there was a lot of flavors on it. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of wasabi, there was that herb on it. Oh yeah, on top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boiling it? Or? Uh, grill? Like, Early, like fire. Grilling? Okay, Burn. a little bit. Yep. Gave it like a nice just a little cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Mokiness, so it adds like a little bit more of a dim dimension to that flavor, which is very nice. But it still wasn't like so solidly cooked that yeah. you can still taste like the freshness of the fish. Yeah, so it, it didn't lose the fresh taste with, mm -hmm. even though it was cooked. Oh, <laughs> so. great, great comment. <laughs> In the States, like, if you want to eat like a Japanese food, like a sushi, mm -hmm. what kind of style of sushi do you usually eat? Um, California roll? I don't know how it is in California, but in Miami, oh, Miami. Um, since we're on the water, Miami has obviously a lot of fish there. And so we do have lots of different types of fish that we can have there. Mm -hmm. You can find stuff like this, but you're going to be paying a lot more for it typically. Because mm -hmm. I think you're also like paying for the experience. The experience. Yeah. Ah. It, it's not just like the food and the fish and like, the quality of meat that you're buying. Um, in California, because California also has a huge coastline, right. we do get a lot of really good fresh fish. Yeah. Tuna is pretty popular because we can get it on our coastline. Um, I think people are more salmon mm -hmm. uh, preferences, right. um, but I think a lot of people have come to appreciate more uh, like sashimi, yeah. mm -hmm. especially in the big cities now. Um, 
if you don't know how to use chopsticks nowadays, it's actually seen as very weird. Oh. Like, oh, you, you don't, like sushi, you can't use chopsticks? That's so odd. At least for the big cities. Yeah. Not other parts of the states, but if you're from like Miami, New York, uh, Los Angeles. Have you ever been to the states before or traveled anywhere? Yeah, yeah California. Okay. I've been to California. <laughs> <laughs> Miami is always so far away. <laughs> yeah, I, I like go to Miami. Miami is more like a resort area. In um, the it's a little bit of a different city, different vibe. Just because Miami has a huge Hispanic population there and it's very ingrained in the entire city. Like sometimes people speak to you in Spanish first before they speak to you in English. Um, How about you? Like, uh, can you speak Spanish? Yeah, I'm Cuban. My family is from Cuba and then they moved to Miami, so I grew up speaking English and Spanish both. I oh, great. That's really good, like, you naturally speak like two languages yes. from, from the kids, so... The rest I think out of the three, my favorite was the least of that. I like the freshness of the uh -huh. flavor, um, and the fact that it didn't doesn't feel like my mouth. Like, I'm now wearing another like set of lipstick. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm just like, hmm. I think mine may actually be the medium fatty one. It's, a, it's in the middle. So you yeah, get like yeah. a happy balance. balance. They're all good though, not yeah. complaining. Any someone served me any of those, I wouldn't say. How about yeah. like a grilled? The grilled one I think is my favorite favorite. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's my number one. I like I like the flavor range that was like with the garlic, mm -hmm. with the herb. Mm -hmm. And the smokiness, ah, yeah. all the fresh fish. It, there was a journey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the flavors complemented each other very well. Um. All right. All right, maybe easy one. Let's let's try the yeah. salmon. <laughs> oh, no. I really like this one. Too. Yeah. yeah. You wanna try? All right. X. Uh, I feel really want to capture this expression. I don't know. As adventurous of a person as you are. Yeah. Oh, my stomach is so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> or tipsy, like you had like a few shots. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm game for more things. Exactly. Come on. You play a little bit of No, don't give me that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm. Okay, you know, the knock now I'm feeling very brave. Okay. Not too bad, right? Mm. I, are you lying to me? Or mm. you know? Okay. I was anticipating it. Mm -hmm. There wasn't so much shock. The flavor's really good. Okay. Because, like you said, there is sauce already in there. Okay. There is a decent amount of flavor, and it tastes like salmon. Okay. Or some okay. type of. Stop talking and avoiding <laughs> the subject. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I see you delaying the inevitable. It's actually really good. Like this is like a red snapper, mm -hmm. and this is a kind of eel. Ooh, I like eel. Okay, you can go for the eel. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for the snapper to. Okay, great. Come full circle from my childhood trauma of the fish. <laughs> Like must, must, like a lot more muscular. Yeah, but I think overall is still good, and I don't regret eating it. So, cheers, cheers. That's right. <laughs> This one is also good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do love the taste of um, the seaweed with mm -hmm. the fish. 
because it offers like a little bit of saltiness. You take it, like the flavor and the yeah. flavor goes hot and soft. And the texture of that, like it was, mm -hmm. it was still, of the was still very soft. So all in all, I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy end. Actually, there was anything that I disliked. Which yeah. Was really nice. <laughs> So if I go to Miami, then like, what is the uh, good place to go? You have Miami Beach, which is the typical thing that people see from Miami. You know, all the beaches, the parties, the celebrities. But if you leave the beach and you go a little bit more inland, mm -hmm. there are a lot of great neighborhoods you have. So if you go to, there's an area of Miami called uh, La Havana Pequeña or Little Havana in Calle Ocho, which translates to 8th Street. And that's just like your Cuban community oh. central. So there's a really big Latin vibe there. There's a lot of like small bars, uh, good food. Um, the Gables, beautiful area. Gable? The Coral Gables. Uh, a little bit like Omete Sando a little bit. Oh, yeah. So a little, because you have a lot of the back streets with the small boutiques and like the small shops, but there's a lot of good places to eat around there too. Mm -hmm. um, so Coral Gables. You can see coral if you go snorkeling and scuba diving off the coast. So, and our water is warm all year round, which is excellent. So even if you go during the winter, you can still go in the water. Oh, really? maybe That's in Oh, of course not. Okay. Food. What is Cuban food? So some typical Cuban food. You have like a vaca frita, arroz con pollo. So, uh, so it's just like a some of like a beef. A meat, yeah, usually made with beef <laughs> or pork and. It takes a little bit of time to make, but the taste is usually very good. Um, Arroz con pollo is just rice and chicken. And then, oh, the one thing you definitely have to try in Miami is Cuban coffee. And if you like very strong coffee, uh -huh. then you'll like that as well. Oh, okay. For Sacramento, it's there's a, such a diverse population. Yeah. I would recommend Mexican food, but probably not a chain. You want to go to something more hole in the wall, more off to the side. So Taco Bell, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or on the border. No, don't do that. Uh, what is your city? Sacramento. Sacramento? Yeah. yeah, it's the capital of California. Really? Yeah. Los Angeles is the capital, I thought. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's our largest city. Sacramento, it's um, farther north than San Francisco. So yeah. California is very long. You have yeah. Los Angeles. San Francisco. Then you have San Francisco, and then Sacramento is Northern, Northern California. Yeah. But it's in the valley, so the reason why it's the capital is because that's where all the agriculture was. Oh, um, so because Los Angeles is kind of bordering on a desert, so a lot of the water comes from like the Sacramento, Northern California area oh. is sent all the way down to the valley. Yeah, a lot of people, the only time they've heard of Sacramento is the Sacramento <laughs> Kings if they watch basketball. <laughs> Um, that's it. That's the name of the team? That's the name of the team. Okay. Yeah, not everybody knows them, but if I hear someone, if, if someone hears them from Sacramento, they're like, oh, the Kings! And I'm like, you like basketball. <laughs> Got it. Oh, uh, yeah. I know here, because we've had quite a few Japanese baseball players, Miami yeah. Marlins, or the uh, Florida yeah. Marlins, it's like, oh, Miami, oh, baseball. Um, I think it was a wonderful experience, you know, definitely something you have to do when you're here in Tokyo and just, you know, you're here. Sushi is a big part of Tokyo, so you should definitely try sushi when you're here. I and would, everything was delicious, so. I would definitely recommend something like the tuna plate where you can have different cuts of tuna and like different styles of preparation, whether it was like seared. Um, and so you can taste the flavor range of, the very, mm -hmm. of like one specific one, so you know what it like tastes like <laughs> all together. I think that was really was a really important thing. I'd never done that before. That was a new experience. It's like okay, I'm gonna order tuna, but like, what, what does it mean? Tuna is a uh, huge fish. <laughs> yeah, so there's so many different parts. <laughs> so I would definitely get. that was something I would recommend. Is yeah. doing something where it's one type of fish, but having different preparations and different cuts. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>